The Nutrition Facts label provides valuable information to everyday consumers when shopping for packaged foods. If a consumer wants to know how many calories there are in a serving, or wants to eat more fiber or less added sugars, that information is right there on the label. In some cases, having information like this on the label also encourages manufacturers to reformulate their products to make them healthier. The previous Nutrition Facts label was more than 20 years old, so it was time to make it more up to date based upon new scientific information, including the link between nutrition and chronic diseases like heart disease. Also, the amount of food and beverages people eat and drink has changed, and the new label reflects that. Calories and serving sizes on the new Nutrition Facts label are in bolder and larger type, so they really pop out. Serving sizes more accurately reflect how much we typically eat and drink at one time, and the label also includes new information like potassium, vitamin D, and added sugars. One thing that has not changed is FDA's 520 guideline, which states that if a serving of food contains 5% or less of the daily value of a nutrient, it's considered to be low in that nutrient. And if the food contains 20% or more of the daily value of a nutrient, it's considered to be high in that nutrient. More often, for better nutrition, consumers may want to choose foods that are lower in nutrients such as saturated fat, sodium, and added sugars, and consume more foods that are higher in nutrients such as dietary fiber, vitamin D, calcium, iron, and potassium. The new Nutrition Facts label will help identify these foods more easily. The new Nutrition Facts label is out there now on many food packages. Large manufacturers, those with $10 million or more in annual food sales, needed to make the change for foods packaged starting in January of 2020. For manufacturers with less than $10 million in annual sales, the new Nutrition Facts label is required to appear on food products packaged starting January 1, 2021. Added sugars include sugars that are added as ingredients during the manufacturing of foods. Added sugars also include single-ingredient sugars like honey, syrups, or packets of sugar, which add sugars to the diet. Added sugars can be part of a healthy dietary pattern, but it's difficult to meet our nutritional needs while staying within calorie requirements if we consume more than 10% of our total daily calories from added sugars. For this reason, based on a 2,000 calorie per day diet, the daily value for added sugars is 50 grams. Serving sizes on food labels are not recommendations, but instead are meant to reflect the actual amount of food we typically consume at one time. For this reason, some serving sizes on the Nutrition Facts label have changed. For example, the standard serving size for soda was previously 8 ounces, but it's changed to 12 ounces. And the serving size for yogurt has decreased from 8 ounces to 6 ounces. Nutrient information on the new label will be based upon these updated serving sizes. Vitamin D and potassium are two new nutrients that people will see on the new Nutrition Facts label. They will also continue to see calcium and iron, which have been there for some time. Manufacturers no longer have to list vitamins A and C because most people get enough of these nutrients. We've removed calories from fat from the new Nutrition Facts label because science shows that the type of fat is more important than the total amount of fat. We now emphasize limiting saturated and trans fats, which are required on the label, while mono and polyunsaturated fat, which contribute to total fat, provide certain health benefits.
Consumers will see the dual column nutrition facts label for some foods that have two or three servings in the package but could be consumed in one sitting. This label has two columns, one for listing the nutrition facts related to a single serving and one listing the nutrition facts for the contents of the entire package. For more information about the changes to the Nutrition Facts label, consumers can go to www.fda.gov slash new nutrition facts label to see the new label and what's different. We have just launched our Nutrition Facts label education campaign with some fun new videos and a ton of other great new information. We've been working closely with partners such as the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the American Medical Association, and the American Academy of Pediatrics. And we welcome everyone's help to get the word out. Go to www.fda.gov slash new nutrition facts label. All of the information there, social media, videos, fact sheets, and more is freely available to use.